friends, hello and welcome back. I am just so thankful that you are here. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at the top five terms for the science test to make sure that you aced that GED science or your high set science test. Now friends, if you're new here, welcome. I encourage you to click that subscribe button. And my friends that have been here a while, Welcome back. I'm so thankful that you're here. Our first word is hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about what you think will happen in an experiment. For an example, if I water my plants more, they will grow faster. <laughs> Let's hope so. This plant here is called a Christmas cactus, or at least that's the common name. And look, it's starting to bud. I'm so excited. I love this plant. Now, friends, I have a special invitation just for you. I would like to invite you to my master class. So it's GED High Set Success, your roadmap to passing. And this is a free webinar where it's going to be on Zoom, interactive, lots of fun. We're going to cover the key differences between the GED and the high set. We'll also learn how to beat test anxiety once and for all. You're going to learn how to study smarter, not harder, which I know is something that you all could use a little bit of help on, right? And then also developing a mindset for success. Truly believing in yourself will make it so you do a little bit better on the test. So friends, click the link down below and I invite you to join me in this free webinar. I know you're gonna love it. Our second word is experiment. An experiment is a test you perform to see if the hypothesis is correct. So an example could be, maybe I had two plants just like this, and one I watered extra, and one I watered just normal. And then after a month, did the one plant grow a little bit more? That's experiment. Our next term, variables. Variables are the factors in your experiment. Independent variable is what you change and the dependent variable is what you measure. So I really want you to think hard about that independent variable. Notice how it starts with an I. That's because that's what I change. Independent variable, I change. Conclusion. The conclusion is what you learn from your experiment after analyzing the data. So if I had a ruler, I could measure and see how well my plant is growing compared to my other plant that I'm not watering as much. Theory. A theory is a well-tested explanation for observations that have been repeatedly confirmed. All right, enough with the plants. We have the theory of evolution. And basically, it's based on a massive amount of research and observations. Okay, friends, that is it. We have our top five science terms. We have hypothesis, experiment, variable, conclusion, and theory. Definitely make sure that you know these words because as you're taking the test, they will assume that you know these definitions. Friends, do make sure you click that link right down below so you can join me in my free webinar. GED High Set Success, your roadmap to passing. And friends, thanks for sticking along with me in this video. I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself too. And I look forward to seeing you in that interactive webinar very very soon. Okay, peace my friends and God bless.